Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm KR Speedy, and today's video is going to be a highlight from what we did at E3. During E3, we participated in a live stream for the game Evolve, and on the final day, we were competing for third place in a game against Team Chobot, which had Jehovah and Legion on it, and my team was Team Forte, which had Malik Foreplay, Melanie Mac, Nervous Nick, Nobody Epic, and myself. So the way Evolve works is it's a 4v1 game type in which one person is a monster and there's a team of four hunters that try to kill this monster. Our team, Malik was the monster, so you won't be seeing any of his gameplay in this video, but it's gonna be the four of us, Melanie, Nervous, Nick, Nobody, and myself being hunters, trying to kill Swifter, who is also on Team Chobot. So with that said, this is going to be the second game. We won the first game, so we just need to win the second game and we're gonna be the hunters. And most of this footage is gonna be showing the monster but very, very embarrassing things happen to us, which you'll see, and I will explain after it happens. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys in a few seconds. Once again, folks, this is game two of the third place position of our Nerdist tournament here. We'll see if Team Malik can just close out this series with a quick 2-0, or if there's gonna be an epic comeback from Team Chobot. Jay Party on Team Forte, KYR Speedy on support. Nobody epic on Trapper. The nervous Nick Kramer on medic and Melody Mac on assault. Alrighty, expecting big things here. Already off the bat, another three meet. That it might be the good omen he needs, as we just saw a win from Malik, who also started with the exact same Strider. The exact same Strider is right, Jay Party. <laughs> he is making his way along. He knows where he wants to go. This is Swifter. He's making his way across the map, looking for those tiny two meets and the three meat snacks. He wants to get that evolve meter up early. He needs to recover from that first game loss. Yeah, absolutely. So far, a good environment for him. No one putting pressure on him. No sign of the hunters yet. And just a smorgasbord of tasty treats. There are a lot of good eats here on the planet Sheer. Ooh, an elite perk here. This is such an important one. That is the cooldown reduction perk. So big on a monster like this. Having those moves hit twice as often is just devastating to a hunter squad. That's going to be huge. You see that timer up in the right-hand corner. If he gets into any altercations with the hunters in the next two minutes or so, that's going to pay big dividends. Absolutely. Probably my favorite perk in the game. Cooldown reduction is big when it counts in the fights. Making his way through the Reaver Grotto, as Jay Party likes to say. These Reavers can get a little annoying. They will defend each other as you try to eat their friends. Clearly territorial and not afraid of this monster that really dwarfs them and can just smack them down in pretty much one hit. And look at that, Jay Party. No sign of the hunters. Evolved meter full. He's ready to stage up to stage two. Yeah, we'll see if he rushes this. I like it. Not just going straight there, moving around a bit, trying to get a sense of where these hunters might are. I think he expects them to show up. He's surprised they haven't found him yet. He's been sticking around that cavern area almost the entire round so far. This is a nice move, doubling back towards the dam. He's going to shake them for a little bit longer, hopefully find a nice safe spot, nice hidey hole to evolve in and spook them out at stage two. Yeah, I like it. Finds a little cove here. This is a good spot here. They're probably not going to get notice him right away as these hunters seem way off the trail. Let's see what abilities he goes for. Leveling that Vortex, we see the exact same build as first game from the other team. Very popular here with the Nerdists. I like it too. Vortex, such a quintessential part of the monster's kit here. The knockback, the damage, it can prevent healing, prevent revives. Such a good ability. I love it. Jay Party, when you're playing the Kraken, do you spread your points out or do you go all in three at stage one? I like to spread it out there. I think the utility is very important at stage one. You just need the tools to take down creatures quickly at the first level. It's most important to just get farmed up, get to level two, and that's where we see most Krakens preferring to fight. You're very strong at that level, you can do a lot of damage, and as long as you have full armor, you can sustain in a fight for a very long amount of time. All right, he's finally found some uh, more wildlife here. He's gonna eat that, a little three meat snack. Oh, oh and a big missile firing from support way down the river. They're closing in on him now. The trapper's right on his tail. He startles birds. That's going to tell them right where he is. There is a Mega Mouth over there. Let's see if that gives oh, him any trouble. Be careful, Trapper going right in the Oh, right in the Mega Mouth. Assault is in the Mega Mouth. 
He needs a team. Oh, and we got a plant on the minute. Oh, God. This is bad. Two plants. We got another two. plant. Oh, another plant. Oh, the hunter's collapsing all of a sudden. The hunter's falling apart to the oh. wildlife. <laughs> this could be bad news. Is this going to be all of them trapped collectively? The hunters are just wiped by the planet. This looks like the end for the hunter team. Only Daisy still standing. He might win and not even know why here. Lurking around still, lurking for food. I'm not sure he knows what just happened. And that's the last hunter falling. Looks like game over here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, man. Collapse. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. The that's the planet Sheer for you. <laughs> if you see that shirt, hashtag Sheer Problems, you know what Team Forte is talking about. Wow, we have not seen that before. Man. That was a rough second round. And that's going to mean we go to game three. One of the fastest rounds we've seen here. Absolute collapse there. You saw two squad members walk into a plant trap, and the third one get hit by a big mouth, and they didn't know what to do. The fourth member, freaking out, gets caught by the mega mouth in the end, and they all go down together. Jay Party, this is a big, big time for these two teams. Yeah, They're going to figure out who's repping who. It looks like we're going to have a rematch. Alrighty, so if you saw that, you definitely saw us get embarrassed. If you don't know what happened, there was wildlife on the map, and we accidentally got killed by a bunch of things that were eating us that weren't even the monster, meaning Swifter beat us without even having to do anything. He never even saw us, which was super embarrassing. Everyone was laughing at us there. The entire dev team that made the game was sitting behind us watching us and they were probably face palming like crazy i didn't turn around to see their reactions but i know legion and jehovah were laughing their asses off at me and it was quite embarrassing but with that said we still got another shot to redeem ourselves in round three we just need to win this one and we will win so we got a chance of redemption i'll let you guys see that right now Team Forte on the Hunters and Swifter on the Monster. Yeah, it looks like they're going to stick to this team. They did win quicker, so they get preference for Monster or Hunter in the third game here. And they like what they just saw, so they're going to stay on Monster. And I think that is a great decision. Jay Party, hopefully they learned their lesson in that last round. Stay away from the wildlife. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You got to have each other's back there. That was just brutal. I don't think we're going to see a repeat of that, though. I think they learned their lesson. Watch out for Mega Mouths. Don't be sloppy. They are a strong team, Jay Party. If anybody can bounce back from this, it's Team Forte. Cheering from the crowd, ladies and, and gentlemen. On nearby targets. They want Team Forte to get back in this. All right, here we go. It has been blockbuster entertainment here at the 2K booth, Evolve Game. And we are here in the final, final game of the third place match. Team Forte on the Hunters versus Swifter representing Team Chobot on the Monster. The Monster now is going into this game, I feel, with the greatest confidence. He's thinking, man, the environment might do the work for me. Yeah, definitely on the Hunters right now to mix it up and maybe not all die at the very beginning. I'd like to see a new strategy out of them and really bring the fight to the monster this time. All right, a nice three meat snack. He's already halfway towards stage two. Sitting pretty right now, using that smell ability and a nice vortex blast to take out some more wildlife. We've yeah. seen a lot more sneaking since that sneak match, Jay Party. I want to point that out. These techniques that these professional Evolve players are using are rubbing off on the Nerdist crew here today. Yeah, absolutely true there, and that's kind of what happens. You see some cool new strategies, and that's going to slowly spread throughout the community until it's really the standard of play here, and I like it. Take your time, play smart, don't just play sloppy here, or you will get caught out. Trying to avoid those birds right there next to him. You see, if he startles those, the Hunters are going to get an immediate indicator of exactly where he is. And he plays his cards right there, doesn't set him off, and it looks like he's good to go here. Down to the last three meets, all he needs to stage up to number two. Jay Party, I just wanted to point out that Legion is indeed a professional. Indeed so. Thank you, DB. That is right. Still wandering around by the river here. A lot of visibility here. A good opportunity for hunters to catch the monster, even if they have no idea which way he's moving. Doing more work with that Vortex. I love the Vortex for hunting down that wildlife. If they try to run, they are done. Trapper here getting caught by a Mega Mouth. This time the team is there to help him, playing smart, and that Mega Mouth is done and done. Taking some extra shots there. They want him to know that he ruined their last game, and they are upset. A scary moment for the Hunters, but they recovered greatly. 
the monster there trying to leave the territory, taking the coward's way out, decides at the last second, no, we'll fight this one out till the end. Ready with the Evolve, we'll see what he does here, and he's gonna go for it right now. Leaving that beat up, that creature's gonna run away from him. I would have liked him to kill that first, then evolve, and have a snack ready when he's fully grown. Let's see where he spends these points, Shea Party. Yeah, going with the same build, the triple Vortex, two Banshee, and one Lightning. I like this build. He didn't get to use much of it last game, so he still wants to work on it. I think it's great. I can't say enough good things about the Vortex. A great emphasis and a good move. Three meets towards that stage three. He's got a lot of work to do, Jay Party, but he's shown that he knows how to work his way around this map, avoid the hunters, and eat those creatures. Yeah, this is always such a long climb. Keep your surroundings known. I like it. You notice whenever he eats, he's going to activate the smell and do a quick spin. Look behind you while you're eating. Don't forget that they're always closing in on you, and you should always be doing an action. Don't waste time by just standing there or just sitting. Smell, Another look around, be aware. Another great Vortex Blast. He left a couple six meats behind there, though, maybe for later. Yeah, man, he wants to have snacks spread around there. Meat will deteriorate. It could definitely be a thing. He left those meats by the Tower of Terror, south side. And so maybe when he fights the hunters there later, if that's a thing, those meats will be ready and waiting for a nice little snack mid-combat. Yeah, we've seen that. Hunt hunters lose aggro for a second on the monster, and he'll eat in the middle of a fight and regain a small amount of armor. And maybe that's all he needs to come out on top. Halfway to stage three here, he is ready to rock and roll, and it looks like Team Forte already on the defenses, setting up their harpoon traps and sentry guns over by the dam. They are ready to throw down at stage three with the monster. Yeah, we see the fog coming out there. That's just going to greatly reduce the visibility. Makes it so you can't even spot the monster across the stream, which really has a clear line of sight across the map. But with those weather effects happening, they're calling it a day and just falling back to the defenses. They know it's an inevitability that he will come here, play to their strengths, set up a good perimeter, and just wait for him to come to them. Monster does startle birds, so they do see where he is on the map. That's pretty crucial to the hunters right now. They have an idea where he is, where he might be coming from. Yeah, they're nervous. They don't want to leave this position. They're figuring he's very close to level three at this point. They haven't seen the indicator telling them this, though. So I wonder if they're getting nervous that they may have fallen back too quickly here, putting too many eggs in the basket of defense, because they're going to have a full strength, level three monster, full armor coming barreling down on them in a matter of time. For those of you just join us online, twitch.tv Evolve Game, and on the main twitch.tv, welcome to E3. Welcome to the live stream of Evolve. This is the Nerdist Evolve tournament. This is game three of the third place match. And so far, it's one and one. One for Team Forte, one for Team Chobot. We had a great monster win with Team Forte, and then an almost embarrassing hunter loss as well. Yeah, really noobing it up there. That was rough, but in this game, they're committed to a solid defensive strategy, and I'm all right with that. When it's looking grim, just get to the fight. Show that you know how to fight better than this monster. And we'll see his final scaling, taking only one in the aftershock. Just wants to have it more as a fearsome move, force them to dodge, waste that jetpack fuel getting out of the way, even if the impact isn't that strong. I like that. It forces the hunter team to spread out. Yeah, it is terrifying when you see a Kraken just barreling in there, charging that Aftershock ability. Ooh, a rare monster there. He's skipping over it. I don't agree with that. He should have taken that Nomad down. It's a lot of meat, and it's an elite. Those perks are so critical to a strong strategy. Not just the perk, but right now he's sitting real low on armor. He could use definitely a four meat snack to bring that armor up but he's gonna go for the tiny two meets and work his way back towards the generator. Yeah, it looks like he's taking his time here. He's realized they're not gonna pressure him early. They're terrified of the planet shear. Don't wanna risk it. Swift are looking good. Almost full armor, full health. Rocking all four abilities. A nice vortex blast. Swing and a miss though. He's gonna try and get a bit more meat in his belly and then head his way for what could be the final fight of the third place match. Yeah, I'm wanting to look back here at these hunters. We'll see how they're positioning themselves here. You want to keep a nice spread on the team and even try to isolate that medic in a hidden spot. They don't need to be into this fight. And with that sniper rifle, the medic's going to contribute a lot, even from far away. Here he goes, Jay Party. He's making his way up the central river area over by the gas station. And here comes that UAV from Bucket. That UAV is going to be flown around the map hopefully target the monster, track is, as you're seeing here, it's tracking the monster. 
It's full now. The hunters will see exactly where the monster is. So when he tries to sneak up towards the generator here for this last fight, they know right where he is. They can pelt him with these ranged attacks and start whittling away at that armor. And here we go. First shots are fired already. The first bar of armor is gone. You can see that damage is going to be huge. These hunters have a defense set up and they know exactly where he's coming from. They drop the dome here at the dam. And that's going to keep him from moving backwards. As you can see there, he's pinned against the dome. He's not going to be able to escape at the moment to go armor up if he feels like he needs to. Right now, he needs to bring the fight to them and do damage on them. Yeah, you know, honestly, in my opinion, an early dome there, this monster wanted to engage on them. There's really no fear of him running away. And where they positioned it, they're not really restricting his movement. Ooh, he gets vision on the medic there. That's right. The medic is way exposed and way out front, but the medic does a great job of popping the cloak and getting back up with the rest of the team. He does not want to be caught down below. Nail support there with a very long distance lightning strike. This is a hard angle to land those lightning strikes with. He needs to get up a little higher if he wants to hit those accurately with where these hunters are positioned. Assault down on the ground using the flamethrower to do massive damage to the shield there. Assault wants to go in on him now. The monster may maybe wants to focus on Assault. Assault is separated from the rest of the team. Yeah, this Assault going just ballsy there. Very aggressive. I like it. The flamethrower is one of the highest damage abilities in the game, and it's just going to melt the armor of this Kraken. He's taking a little shower there at the dam. Hopefully he can wipe off some of that blood that the hunters are laying into him. Yeah, nothing like a cool bath to cool off being on fire here. And he's coming back around, falling back a little bit. We'll see if he tries to get some armor. He does not like how that fight was going. He made no forward progress, and he has no down penalties on any of these hunters. That's right, Jay Party. They've taken down his armor almost all the way, but still no work towards that health bar. Yeah, you know, we talk a lot about the monster wanting to run away at the lower levels, but there's something to be said about getting those down penalties early. You're going to recoup a lot of your HP as you level, but the down penalties stay forever. Now he has to deal with the full strength hunter squad and no down penalties. They're all very durable. Lazarus will have an easy time getting them up from any of the down positions. That was a nice vortex blast, but Assault popped his personal shield, so no damage done there. The monster is bailing. He's out of there, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to go try and armor up, re-strategize, and come back at the hunters. Yeah, doesn't like the fight, and I agree. That was not looking good. He did not have a good angle. He didn't want to get too close to them, but he was too low. You're not going to be able to target lightning strikes accurately, and you just can't get the concentrated damage you need to pick off the important classes. He's using that vortex pretty well on the wildlife. Let's see if he can bring that right at the hunters. Yeah, armor's going to come back pretty quick here. He's not going to need much. Ooh, an elite, an elite Mega Mouth there. We'll see if he goes for the perk or just leaves it be. Yeah, so this is a different point in the match. We talked about this earlier. I asked you if you would have fought the Mega Mouth then. What about now? Absolutely now. Leave it at the early stages. Take it at level three. You don't care. He knows they're not going to come after him. He's safely farming the whole map here. Get those perks, play smart, and then come back in aggressively with full armor and go for the takedowns. Here he comes. He's coming in with about half armor, full health, making his way towards the dam. They're doing a great job of just pelting him from a distance, taking that armor down. Oh, and the dome misses. That's going to be a big cooldown on there. And he could just sit pretty and come in and do damage now without having to worry about being trapped inside. Yeah, coming over to this area. I like this area. A lot of water. Hunters will not mess with you in the water. They know that swimming is not the best way to fight a 20-foot creature, so they're going to stick to land. The safety and safety of land. All right, he's back over here on the generator side. He's actually got a good position here now. He can actually bounce them off of here, take them down below, separate the team a little bit, and start to do individual damage, which is what he really needs to do at this point. Yeah, I like coming from this direction. If you manage to knock any of the hunters down off the edge of the dam there, it can be a long climb on the way up. Big harpoon traps from the trapper. That's three of them on him right now. They need to get those knocked off. But Assault going in with the flamethrower, doing big damage. Armor is gone. And that's the health coming down now. Another harpoon trap. More flamethrower. He's trying to use that aftershock. That is a stage one, one point aftershock though. So no damage really done to the hunters there. Now in a great position. This assault knows no fear here. He's just constantly pestering him, knowing that the medic can safely get him up if he ever gets in any real danger. More Trap. harpoon traps. Great work by the trapper. So much great work by the trapper with those harpoon traps. 
Lots of fire from the assault there. The monster's still on fire. He's feeling the heat right now, Jay Party. Yeah, you see the team cloak coming out there. I love it. Just use it in the middle of a fight. It disorients and distracts the monster. He doesn't know who his primary targets are. This and is a different team than we saw in the last game, Jay Party. This yeah. does not look like the team that got beaten by the wildlife. He does have the medic separated here, though. Down to half health. He's going in on the medic. He misses the medic with the aftershock, though. Medic's going in on Bucket using the Lazarus device. Support is up! Oh man, so big. And now the cloak's gonna be back up on the medic. He's gonna be able to slip away there. Ooh, but the trapper goes down. No domes coming out here. But this monster, I think he's gotta commit to this fight. He's invested too heavily. His health is almost down to half here. Oh, the trapper gets back up. A rough break for the monster. Here he comes with another lightning strike. Hits the medic. He can do some work on him now. If he gets that medic down, he has a chance. If not, this could be ugly for the monster. Lots of sentry guns down. Lots of fire. Lots of harpoon traps. He's hurting, Jay Party. Yeah, sees the medic there. He needs to land this lightning strike. Gets a oh, huge Oh, big one. lightning strike. That could turn the tables. They're falling back. Medic on his heels. Assault going in with the flamethrower. He's got a nice team cloak. They're putting in harpoon traps on him. Three of them, Jay Party. Oh man, this is looking rough. Oh, so bad for the monster here. Health dropping so fast down to the last two bars. Is he gonna stay committed? He could try to run away, get another set of armor, but I don't know. They're gonna redeploy all the traps, and no, uh, he's gonna stay. Going in hard here. He is going in hard with that aftershock. Oh, takes the medic down there. We didn't even see that through the cloak. So important. Suddenly they have no sustain. You're gonna see hunters start falling. There goes his health, oh, though. Health down. dropping. Assault is down. Medic's down. Trapper needs to shoot. There's a nice harpoon trap. Reviving medic. The medic is up. Here comes assault. Oh, monster. So big and monster down. down. Winner. Winner. Monster dinner. That is team four. Tay. Absolutely great game by them. I liked it. A different strategy. They didn't just all die in the first two minutes. They decided to just hold out to the very end. They had confidence in their team fight and the big final throwdown. And man, did they deliver. Very well played from all the members of the team there. What a recovery from losing to the wildlife, getting planted, getting mega mouth. They looked so defeated after that second game. They come back and they get the big, big stage three monster kill at the dam. Yeah, really great work by them. I love it. They knew they could work together, and they did it. Great victory. They definitely deserved it. Absolutely phenomenal play, winning on both the monster and as the hunters there to take the victory. So there you are. We won third place. We're the best third place team there, and that's all that matters. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Evolve is a pretty fun game, and we had a great time playing it. And we hope you guys are excited for it because we plan on posting some videos on our channel of it. I wanted to make sure you guys see us get eaten by a bunch of animals. And it was embarrassing, but it needed to be shown on YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.